Practice the exercises slowly at first, and to see the music notation and find more detailed text explanations, you'll find this lesson on drummagazine.com. Okay, if you were here for the first part of the five-stroke roll uh, workout, uh, you'll recall that we worked on open and closed rolls. And we used the technique that I use to see what you think about it. You know, you can use whatever technique you'd like, but I'd like you to just give my technique a try just to see if it might work out a little better for you. Okay. Okay, so now this time we're going to apply that to the drum set. So if you didn't work on that uh, exercise, uh, part one, I suggest that you do that first before moving on to this one. Okay, so we're going to take exercise one. Alright, work it up to speed and here's what it should sound like. Alright, now you don't have to just work on, you know, just work on what I wrote down, the, the, pat, pat, the tom patterns that I've, that I've got written down, but that's just the beginning. You know, once you get that down, you can do anything you want. You know, you can move to different toms, whatever you want. It's just a basic pattern to get you started. Okay, now exercise two, played slowly around the drum set, looks like this. Exercise two, play it up to speed around the drum set, should look and sound like this. All right, so again, once you work on the drill exactly as written, then feel free to just get creative with it and play on anything you want and any drums. You can even do it on the cymbals, you know, you can play, play those, uh, these patterns off the cymbals. Okay, the whole idea is to just work on the drill as written. Once you get it cleanly, exactly as written, then feel free to get creative with it and do whatever you want. The whole deal is to have lots of fun and always remember to stay loose. Catch you next time.